hey guys, check out what I've got. The new, boom, Cal Kestis Jedi Survivor Legacy Lightsaber from Shop Disney. Does this lightsaber change all the colors? Are the sounds gonna change? Um, how's it going to feel? Have there been any design changes at all? We're gonna talk about all that stuff, so come hang out, guys. Yeah. Hey, Star Wars fans. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really appreciate it. This is Finding the Force, where I cover everything Star Wars, from video games to theme parks, and especially lightsabers. obi Annie with the Cal Kestis? You bet. Yeah. And no one else is gonna host this channel for a long time until my little guy gets bigger, except me, also known as obi Dad Kenobi. Hello there. If you're new to the channel, don't be shy. Click the subscribe button. You know why. And I really appreciate all the likes, so please hit that like button. Now in this video, I'm gonna do a quick review of just the box set of the new Jedi Survivor Galaxy's Edge lightsaber. But if you wanna see me compare it to the original Jedi Fallen Order saber and the Cal Kestis Seer Junda staff, hit that like button for me right now. When I get to 500, I'll make that comparison video for you guys. Wapow! So what are we waiting for? Let's get to it. Boom! Yes, this is the same saber that the actor Cameron Monaghan waved around at the video game awards showing it off, which we found out later was a part of a limited edition release from, from Limited Run website. I guess they deal in a lot of games and collectibles and stuff. And so they were offering this limited edition box set, which came with a crate that we saw in the beginning of the video game, by the way. And a lot of fans were speculating that that may be the only time you would be able to get that Disney lightsaber that didn't come with a blade. But I could have told you it was gonna end up in parks eventually, you know what I mean? And that's what we have here. It is said that this Cal Kestis Jedi Survivor Saber will change all six colors that are offered from the Savi's Workshop lightsabers. Let's open her up and check it out. If you guys haven't joined me yet, come hang out with me. I'm live streaming almost every weekend the Jedi Survivor video game and I'm giving away tons of lightsabers. I think I've given away four lightsabers so far. No, five, including the staff. And my first one was a NeoPixel Cal Kestis. So maybe for the finale video, wink, wink. So yeah, feel free to check those videos out and come join me. I try, you know, they've been on mixed days, but I'm shooting for weekends. So as I remove the sleeve, if you didn't catch my other video about all the new sabers that are coming to Galaxy's Edge, haven't been confirmed, but we know for certain that they've already made a brand new thinner set of Ahsoka Tano Legacy lightsabers. In case you missed that video, link up above and at the end of this video. But just like all the box sets, we got the awesome Jedi emblem right here in the front. Boom, right there for you. Leave a comment down below. Do you think that Disney, including this box set with a stand, a belt clip, and a blade, is this a way for them to sell things that we already have? Or are they including these things because a lot of people can't make it to the parks and they wanna buy these sabers, but they haven't had really blades on Shop Disney website very much at all. So let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, popping this baby open here, boom. <laughs> that was the instruction manual. In case you've never put a blade inside of a Galaxy's Edge lightsaber, that'll tell you how. You twist one direction, not the other, but you can feel it for yourself. Comes with the stand right over here. The Jedi Survivor Saber, not Fallen Order. Stand over here. So let's take this baby out here. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, dang. I forgot how, uh, how strong. How hefty this bad boy is. Man, it's kind of a pet peeve. I'm gonna start taking these stickers off. I can't stand the stickers. You know, like no Jedi weapon in the movies has an arrow saying, turn off this way, turn on that way. If I'm lucky, they won't leave a lot of residue, but more often than not, I have to go use. Um, hey, a lot of you guys leave comments. How do I get rid of the residue from the stickers? A product that a lot of the pros know about is called Gooby Gone. And that will take the sticky stuff right off your saber. And uh, you kind of like let it soak in and it should rub off pretty easy. We've got some stubborn stickers here today. Oh, great. It's two stickers. Man, it's covered in them. Okay, just hold on. Just give me a sec. Hey, there we go. Man, first impression, big guy, hefty. Mm. But 
from if memory serves, I'm looking forward to comparing it to the others because as memory serves, this feels more balanced. Whereas the older one felt more top heavy with the shrouds because it might've been less in the pummel. So this pummel is really gonna help balance out the overall feeling of Cal's Saber. I really love the game, by the way. I hope you guys are playing it. It is super fun action game and there's tons to explore. I'm really having fun and I love streaming it with you guys. Thank you for joining me, all you guys out there. I've had people help me out with the puzzles and uh, yeah, it's just great to have your company. If I knew streaming was this much fun, I would've done it a long time ago. Hey, let's take a close look at it, huh? Here you go, guys. I'll show you the pretty side. It's not so sticky, but it looks like, I don't think there's really any major changes to the original Cal Kestis with the broken pommel, except of course, the lower half of the saber. Now they invented it on the grips here. So depending on how you grip it, you may not hear the saber as well as you'd want to. A lot of sabers are known for venting all out of the bottom pommel here, but there actually there is. There is a tiny bit of sound venting down here at the very bottom, but I'm sure most of it's going to come out of the grip. The shroud length and proportion looks the same. I like that they put a little bit of detail there, like little, little bronze in that window. We've got belt clip, cover tech on one side, button on the other. One of these notches slides up to activate it. The other one is a button to change the colors, just like on the Cal and Sear staff. At the pommel, it's worth noting it does have a belt clip, but this thing weighs, this is, this is a considerable weight. I would not recommend putting this on your belt for any amount of time, especially not on the parks. And although this feels pretty sturdy, I still would question its durability over time. I, I would not recommend putting this on a belt clip, which makes you kind of wonder why include a belt clip in the box set. I just wanted to show you guys really quick so you have an idea of the sheer size of this Cal Kestis Saber. I'm going to compare it to this NeoPixel version that I reviewed a few weeks ago. And you can see that there is a pretty glaring difference in not only length, but also width. I think this smaller saber is a bit more accurate to what Cal would use. The length of the shrouds and the length of the entire saber. This NeoPixel version also has a light up pummel, which is really cool. I'll put a link up above if you wanna check that out. And of course the NeoPixel saber is going to cost like twice as much as the Disney sabers. You can't find a Cal Kestis Jedi Survivor lightsaber like this anywhere else for this price, coming with the box set and the blade and everything for 250, you know, that you can't touch that. And I haven't heard of Hasbro announcing making this version of a lightsaber anytime soon. Kind of silly, but that is your close up look of the Cal Kestis Jedi Survivor Galaxy's Edge lightsaber. Let's fire it up. Yes, I was definitely hoping it would have the smaller, like circular screw and blade just like the Yoda Saber and those Ahsokas I mentioned earlier, but it does come with the standard, traditional two-notch blade that we're used to. Oh, I forgot to set the mood lighting. All right, guys, let's check out if the sounds change with the colors. Unlikely, but a guy can dream. Three, two, one, bam. Yeah, this definitely feels more balanced, but that means it's gonna add a little bit more weight. So I think this is probably pushing like three pounds. I'll put the weight here down on the screen. But can you guys hear that? Actually, as far as legacy lightsabers are concerned, number one, good sound ventilation if you hold it a little higher on the grip. This is my hand covering it. Check out the clashes. Nice, action-packed, total classic Cal Kestis clash effect sounds. Yes, and here comes the good part. Let's see, goes from blue to green. Ah, no change in sound, but that's cool. Check out what I'm doing. There's not a lot of Galaxy's Edge Sabres that you can spin like this, although I do have bigger hands. I've mentioned that in videos before. I'm kind of a tall guy, but it's not like, a, I wouldn't recommend it for spinning, but it's doable, I think, because of the added weight of the pommel. Yeah, very nice color purple. Definitely not a pink shade at all. Can you guys see that? 
I don't know if you're catching the color purple or not. Yeah, red. I know it looks yellow. It's a camera thing. Bright red, though, for when you beat the game and you get to be Dark Side Cal. Yellow for all you Temple Guard fans out there. Yeah. White. Can't wait for the Ahsoka series. Am I right or am I right? Uh. And back to blue. Can't forget to mention that this box set was $250 on Shop Disney without, but they give you free shipping, you know, when you use their special code. And I also can't forget to mention that I have got a smuggler who will pick you up anything from Disney World, including Galaxy's Edge, but any of the parks, Batu Smuggler 72 on Instagram, definitely make sure to check him out. You know, anything from popcorn buckets to sippers or Galaxy's Edge lightsabers, a handful of them are on sale. And if you wanted to catch that video, um, I went shopping in Doc Ondar just like a month ago. Link up above. All right, guys, I think that pretty much covers everything. Thank you again for hanging out with me as always. You guys take care, be safe, and make sure to have an awesome Star Wars day. Obi-Annie with the Cal Kestis, you bet.